There are loads of synagogues in Jerusalem, different ethnic backgrounds, different denominations, but it's only this one, began in 1982, that gets called the Big Synagogue. Let's see what kind of monument it is. We're up in the Women's Gallery looking down. Which lets me think about the fact that an orthodox synagogue is somehow a mix between the halachic instructions in between trying to get the space to help a person reach a very deep individual spiritual experience. We're standing in the ladies' gallery, which halachically has to be divided from the men's section, which is downstairs. And we're looking towards where the Aron Kodesh is. In most places, the Aron Kodesh would be pointing towards Jerusalem. But in Jerusalem, it's oriented towards the Temple Mount, which is a great opportunity to think about the concept of a synagogue in Judaism. So it's pointing towards Temple Mount, where the temple used to be, but no longer is. And the synagogues are a replacement. When founded, they began being called a lesser temple, a replacement for the temple. So this is a monument which, on the one hand, people come to. And no matter how many people are sitting in the seats, there's a theoretical space for every person. Each person's a part of the prayer, no matter how rich, how poor, how orthodox they are. But looking at the direction of the temple is also a reminder of what isn't and of the fact that being in a communal space like this is a replacement for not being in the huge communal space of the temple. So it's at once something that's reminiscent of a loss, but also creating a social reality. And it's this social reality that gave synagogues their name. Because in Hebrew, Bet Knesset means a place for community or a place where people congregate.